chip on your shoulder and say all he noticed was there no pad on your shoulder. <laughs> so I take it uh, I take it at work tonight. Take it at but how, how did you feel? No, I felt, it felt good. It felt good. Um, you know, I've been shooting the ball pretty good in practice um, without the pad, so I got out there and tried it. Um, felt pretty good. Were you wearing the ball? Yeah, um, I guess so. You know, <laughs> you know, the three point shot was working. You know, I was, I was wide open on a lot of shots. You know, the driving kick helped us out a lot. So I was able to get free a few times. Um, but it really started with the guards paint train and getting me easy buckets. Got a few layups in the dunk and open up everything else. Paul, I helped you guys uh, close out the game. You guys uh, had to really play good defense the first two games at the end both times. What was it again tonight that helped you guys close it out? Uh, defense. Defense down the stretch did it. Uh, forcing them off the three point line, making them take tough shots. Um, you know, they're a good team. You know, they got talented players. Um, they're a tough load, you know, but we're able to hold them to 91 points. Uh, that's a plus for us. Paul, for your career, you've shot about 25% for three at home and about 45% from three on the road. This season, it's taken, that a, right? it's taken quite a flip. Can you explain if there's been any change in your regimen to enable that to happen? Is this my whole, my whole career or just here? Uh, your entire career. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know how to answer that. But <laughs> um, since I got here, you know, I, I, I've got a good routine. You know, the coaching staff um, definitely helped me out a lot. Um, and just staying with the routine, you know, throughout the whole years. You know, last year, same routine. This year, same routine. So um, it's helped me out a lot. Paul, back here in the bright. Um, Matt Winkle, John, with the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. What's different when you don't have the pad? Do you have more mobility, more range? Definitely more range and definitely more mobility. Um, you know, when you can't pick your arm up above your ears, your shoulders above your ears, you know, it's kind of tough. Um, so I was able to do that tonight. Um, and more than likely, I'll go without it again next game. <laughs> two, two questions. Uh, first, in terms of contact, though, did you feel it a little more? Did you pay for it on that end? Uh, this guy hit a few times. Um, we missed a little bit. Moving on to the next play. Play inside of a minute where you found Damari. Was that another read? Was that a set? Uh, it was definitely it was a read. Um, I believe one of the players fell, and I was open for a three. Seeing Demar cut to the basket, and you know, Moss was good enough to get that layup. Paul here in the left mark zone from the 99 game when it was 91 93, and that time I was called by the Nets in that last possession when uh, Darren Williams was that shot. What did Coach Bud do you say to you guys in the timeout? What was the defensive focus? Um, defensive focus is just playing a solid defense. You know, um, a good player just missed a, 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 a tough shot. He was wide open, he just missed it. Um, nothing we did. Uh, we forced him off the three-point line. Um, turned down a high percentage shot to get a tough shot, you know, inside the two. So um, just a good player missing a, a, tough, uh, missing a shot. No, that's what you Paul, any special significance with this win with your coach getting player of the, I mean, coach of the year tonight? <clears throat> any special satisfaction or uh, just another W as possible? Yeah, if he didn't get it, I think we'd still be excited about the win. <laughs> You know, but it, it, it helps out a lot. Um, you know, I'm very excited for Bud doing that, you know, so it, it added a little bit to it. Paul, you guys uh, split the first uh, two games last year and didn't get the outcome you wanted. Now you're up two games to none. How big was it not to go to Brooklyn tied at one apiece? It's big. Uh, we did what we were supposed to do. You know, we took care of home, got two wins here. Um, it's going to be a tough two games on the road, but we feel like we can we can win them, you know, they're winnable games for us. If we set the tone and everything and come out and do what we're supposed to do. And one last question. Do you, how do you feel being that you guys haven't shot the ball particularly well, but you're still able to score when you need to and come out with the wins? I feel great, man. I mean, that's, that's great for us. You know, we didn't shoot the ball particularly well. I don't think we shot it too well last game. Um, to win it on the defensive end, you know, that's satisfaction for us. You know, we feel good about that. Um, defense is what's going to do it for us. We've got to continue to focus on that. Hey, Christopher Daniel of TheBurdenWire.com. 
I'm curious to know, since this season you've had T.I. come, 2 Chains came, and now you had Ludacris this evening. How does the presence of the hip-hop community, especially in Atlanta, affect your plan, or does it have any influence on your game? Um, you know, we listen to music before the game. Hip-hop helps us out a little bit, so I guess that helps. <laughs> you know, it's great to see them guys supporting us. You know, um, it's good to see the fans supporting them, supporting us. Um, this is our community. Um, when guys like that come and support us, you know, it means a lot to us. It's helps out a lot. Paul, Jonathan Simmons from WIGO 1570. Uh, with both you and Al kind of coming off some injuries, how important was it for Perro to have such a big thick third quarter like he had tonight? Perro was big for us, man. Um, you know, when he's doing that, it's not, and it's not just making shots. You know, it, it, he does it on the defensive end. You know, he, he's a great post defender. I felt like he, he forced Brooke into some tough shots. Um, he helps us out a lot, you know, and it's not just on the scoring. When he scores, you know, it's just added bonus for us. Paul, you beat them by an average in the four regular season games by 17 points, and it's now six straight wins, including the postseason. Yet the last two have been a lot tighter. What are the Nets doing differently now that they weren't doing during the regular season that keeps the games closer? It's just in the playoffs. You know, they, they stepped their intensity up a lot. Um, like I said earlier, you know, this, this ain't a pushover team. You know, they, they got some good talent over there. They got former All-Stars, um, a, a good center. Um, so it's not going to be games that we can just run them over. You know, we're not going into it trying to run them over. We're coming and trying to win a game. You know, any means necessary. Thanks, Paul. Yep.